Hey guys, welcome back uh, to the part 2 video of the DV maintenance. In this video, we are going to see what are the prerequisites before running the DV maintenance and then how to run the DV maintenance. Okay, so let me start with uh, before you run the DV maintenance on the console, you have to make sure that there are no backups running. Okay, there should not be any backup running inside the comm serve. Make sure that either you can suspend, pause, or you can just wait, like you can suspend or you can just wait for those particular backup to get complete. Try to find out a window when there uh, is less load on that particular comm serve. Then what you can do is you can actually disable the scheduler. Okay. On your comm serve so that there is no new backup jobs are coming up and then you can take a dr backup for that particular com serve just for being on the safer side so these are the prerequisite that you can complete and how you can uh, uh, actually confirm that so what you can do is you can actually go to the gui and you go to you can go to the job section and in that particular job section you will be able to see that in the active job if there is any job running in there or not if not just uh, uh, that's okay if they are running you can suspend or you can wait for the backup jobs to get complete now once that has been done now what you can do is you can actually go to the manage section and under that particular manage section there is a tab coming up with the name console and once you are there on the console there is an option coming up with the name activity control and in there you can actually disable this scheduler so that there is no new backup job that has been coming up as per the schedules like there is no automatically there is no backup that has been getting triggered in there now once you do so now you can run the dr backup and how you can initiate the dr backup so for that you can go to the system tab and once you go to the system tab there is an option coming up with the name maintenance go to the maintenance and once you go to the maintenance over here it says dr backup and you can select this dr backup you can click on that and there will be one tab that will get enabled over here which says run dr backup this one okay you can click on run backup okay select the mode and submit click on run job now wait for this particular dr backup to get complete okay now once the dr backup is been completed now you can actually go ahead and start with the db maintenance now remember that guys i have already shown you how to run this particular dr backup from the console console you can go back and check my old videos so i have a very detailed discussion on this dr backup you can check from the console console how you can run this particular dr backup now once let's say the dr backup get complete now let me tell you that how the db maintenance can be run now there are two ways to run the DB maintenance okay first is through the command line through the command line which is a little complicated and then second one is through the Commvault GUI either you can use console console or you can actually use the command center so in the GUI using the workflow you can actually run the DB maintenance there is a predefined there is a predefined a workflow that has been available to run this particular DB maintenance that you can use it. We'll run the DB maintenance using this workflow, but I will still show you the option for the command line that how you can actually execute the command line. I will not execute it actually, but I will show you how you can actually execute that one. Okay. So for this, what you can do is on your com serve, you can actually open the command prompt. Okay. You can open the command prompt and once you open the command prompt, you can actually uh, browse to the location where you have your uh, comserv package installed. So I have it in the C program files, Commvault content store. And in that content store, you have to browse to the folder called base. Now, once you are there in the base folder, now you can type a command called db maintenance dot exe okay once you type that see it is going to give you the syntax error it is saying that the syntax that you have provided it's not actually correct the format of the db maintenance is not correct so what you need to do is you need to define few more parameters that has been mentioned over there so you're not required to mention all these particular parameter but few of them like for example you will require to say db maintenance dot exe space 
hyphen s dv server name means the sql instance name running on the server space hyphen u the username which has the access to that instance space hyphen p password space n and the database name on which you want to run the db maintenance these are the database name that will be available and then the mode in which you want to run this particular db maintenance that you can define and hit enter you will be seeing the db maintenance operation running in there this is a little complicated so to overcome that what we have is in the workflow section okay in the workflow section we have a workflow available with the name db maintenance so if you go to the workflow section in the workflows there is a workflow available with the name db maintenance you can search on the top so it's just type db and it shows the db maintenance workflow just select that db maintenance okay uh, once you select that particular db maintenance workflow it will ask you for few inputs very few inputs where it will ask you the database name on which you want to run the db maintenance you can select the one or multiple databases and then you can select the mode in which you want to run the db maintenance nothing required in the client just select the db maintenance in which mode it should be running and you can simply click on ok now once you click on ok you will be able to see that it says your form has been submitted and quickly if you go back in the job section in the active job section or in your job controller you will see a db maintenance maintenance operation coming up okay over here you can see that db maintenance operation coming up once it get complete your db maintenance operation will be completed you can see that progress it's already 46 percent for me it will uh, get complete very quickly might be just in few minutes but in your environment it can take somewhere around 20 to 25 minutes to get complete okay so this is how you can run the db maintenance very simple very straightforward one more thing guys it is uh, recommended to run the db maintenance in a full mode at least once in a six month of course you can check the status of the fragmentation on your sql database uh, from the health report but then again you have to just make sure that uh, uh, you know uh, you are running in once in a six month that particular db maintenance okay so this is how you can run the db maintenance guys thank you so much for joining in thank you